Hi, this is E. David Crawford, Editor-in-Chief of Grand Rounds in Urology. Joining me is Dr. Daniel Petrolak, who is Director of Genitourinary Oncology Research Program and Co-Director of the Signal Transduction Program at Yale Comprehensive Cancer Center in New Haven, Connecticut. Dan recently was involved in a presentation at ESMO on an exciting new treatment for advanced bladder cancer. So Dan, can you share with us in the next couple of minutes uh, sort of what the uh, conclusions were from this trial? Thank you, Dave. I'd be happy to do that. So the presentation, uh, or at least in Fortimavidotin, is a antibody drug complex. Basically, what this is is a smart bomb. It is designed to attack cells that express nectin, which is a cellular adhesion molecule, and delivers chemotherapy directly to the cancer cells. In this, in this case, the chemotherapy is MMAE, an antitubulin agent. We've reported data with Infortimab in patients who've received prior platinum therapy and prior, prior checkpoint therapy and demonstrated approximately 40% response rate. This drug is now in front of the FDA for accelerated approval. Treatments are needed for patients who are platinum ineligible, and that's about 30% of all bladder cancer patients. So what this trial did was it combined an FDA-approved agent for platinum ineligible patients, namely pembrolizumab, along with infortimab vedotin, which is, a, is the agent we described previously. And these patients were cis ineligible. In other words, they had low creatinine clearances or peripheral neuropathy or uh, hearing loss that would make them ineligible to see one of the most active agents, cisplatinum. And this trial treated 45 patients. And what was found was that there was a 71% response rate. The complete response rate was 12%. This is with a median follow-up of 7.7 months. And the drug was well tolerated. Side effects included uh, peripheral neuropathy, fatigue, uh, also neutropenia, uh, and alopecia. Uh, only seven patients had treatment related serious adverse events, and four uh, treatment related adverse events were due to uh, the EV or the pembrolizumab. That's overall 9% of the patients. So we concluded that this drug has significant activity in patients who are platinum ineligible. And we need further follow-up, and uh, this was a phase 1B trial. Uh, we need a phase, further phase 2 trial to determine what the overall response rate is, and then, of course, randomized studies in the future to determine whether this could be a potential standard of care. Great. That's uh, terrific work, Dan. We need something to follow up uh, in second and third line in bladder cancer. So, um, just for those out there that don't know all the facts, is platinum still sort of the first-line agent in most patients, or are we moving away from that? Well, there are trials that are looking to combine chemotherapy with immune therapy. Right now, platinum, cisplatinum or carboplatinum, are considered front-line agents for the treatment of metastatic urethelial cancer. Great. Anything else you want to add? Uh, I think that this is an extremely exciting time for the treatment of urethelial cancer. We now have drugs that are showing significant activity in this disease. I think the exciting thing about infortimab vedotin is the fact that in our phase two experience in patients who've received prior platinum or prior prior, uh, prior immune therapy, that we have about a 40% response rate in metastatic disease to the liver. Uh, this is really the highest response rate we've seen in this particular site of metastatic disease. And in fact, as a single agent, this is one of the highest response rates that's reported. And remember, this is in uh, basically a third line setting. So we're extremely excited about this drug and its future application. Yes, that, that really is a, a step forward. Uh, it seems like a lot of the areas we're making progress right now is harnessing the immune system and integrating it earlier into the disease. And this seems like a, a real step forward. I want to Thank you for taking your time to share this late-breaking information and uh, look forward to uh, hearing more from you in the future, Dan. Thanks. Thank you.